study. Today we will see how to use verb suits response interception feature to capture and analyze error messages from the website. Let's get started. My first step would be to configure the browser in such a way that it becomes proxy ready. How to do that? We will be clicking on the three dots which is visible on the top right corner of a screen. Then go to settings, system, open computers proxy settings. After doing that, we'll turn on the manual proxy setup. In case you feel we are hurrying a little bit, we've already covered these things in the previous two videos. I'll share the link of it as well. Proxy IP address 127.0.0.1 signifies local host and port 8080 signifies Bob suit listens to the traffic by default on this port. I hope this is clear. This was the settings. Click on save. After clicking on save, my manual proxy setup is turned on. Alright. Now I'll minimize the screen. After minimizing it, I'll go to Burp Sword Community Edition. Click on Next. Click on Start Burp. I'll be deleting the previous task, which is visible here. Alright. Then, as we want to see the request and the responses, we will be turning on intercept settings. That is, intercept is on. Now, click on proxy. Request interception rule. I am unticking this box for a moment. Then, cross. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to try to trigger an error response. How to do that? Go to open browser. Restore pages. Alright, restoring it. Let's say I want to write google.com. It is going to open google.com. Right? Now, what am I going to do? I am going to show you what happens when we intentionally trigger a error message. Alright. Now what we can see HTTP error 404, right? Let's see if that has been captured somewhere. How to do that? We will go to HTTP history. Here, in these two, and the first one, We have error 404. Alright. So this means the verb suit has captured this error 404. In case of 404 error, the status code will be 404 and the body may be empty or contain default error message. Alright, so these can be the two cases. I hope this is clear. Now, what we saw till now that we had encountered two errors with the status 404. Let's try to modify the requests now. For that, what we will do, we will click on the request 
get status 404 and try to erase it but nothing is happening now we'll have to take it to the repeater in order to make some edits let's do that i'll be right clicking on the request tab then i'll send this to the repeater once i've sent this to repeater what can i see this is the repeater has been displayed in the orange color click on the repeater here i have the request right here in the request tab we have status 404 we will be making it status 200 here look i am able to make changes then i'll send this modified request to check the response set what can i see http 1.1 200 okay right i hope this is clear See you in the next video. Bye.